Ooh, loves me the Olympics. Reminds me of being a kid. Used to dream of being on the podium winning gold. What sport? Diving. What happened? Fear of heights and water. Not big on crowds, to be honest. I also suffer from motion sickness. Yay, ladies. How fabulous to have a new series on the CBC that's female centric. Oh, yay. yay. <laughs> That's great. It's just great. Um, now, uh, Shannon's escaped the car dealership, run off to Hamilton to run an animal shelter. Mm -hmm. And uh, what are her qualifications? <laughs> <laughs> well, she's the director at the animal shelter. So she's, she's going to be the manager of all of this eclectic staff and uh, eventually her family who would join her at work. <laughs> yeah, I get that. But it's different cars and animals yes yeah i think that uh the moving her to hamilton and the shelter just kind of felt right for this big change in shannon's life like she's asking a lot of questions that i and i'm sure a lot of women and people our age in their 30s ask themselves like what am I doing? What kind of work am I putting out into the world? What, what am I offering? And so she's, she was searching for more and she obviously has a huge connection to animals and she has a family connection in Hamilton as well. Um, so this job felt like the right fit for her. And she's definitely around a group of people that test her <laughs> and her abilities <laughs> often. Um, but it was really, really fun. And Something that I said to the cast a lot, even, you know, after our first day of shooting, and it's a testament to how great this group is and, you know, the talent of these actors is that uh. the workplace feels and felt for me walking in as if it existed before. And, you know, Strays could have been running for three seasons and Shannon could have walked through the door. Like they had already fully realized their characters so in-depthly that it was kind of easy for me to be the fish out of water and kind of test oh, the yeah. temperature. Yeah. Yeah, fish yeah. out of water. That's it. In the hammer. Yeah. Um, now, Tina, much of the humor um, in this series comes from the fact the girls deal with one another on different levels. There's like uh -huh. this public level. There's this um, real true self level that might be blunt. And then there's the kind of fronting level. <laughs> And I just find it hilarious that they slip from one into another, one you know state into another state. I find that to be so funny, because we're watching. We know what's happening as an audience, but you know the other girls might not know. So, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking you come, you sometimes you know you do give a lot of eye rolls to people, and I'm <laughs> right there with you. So, <laughs> so tell me how how she views this new situation with this out of towner. Right. Um, well, like Nikki said, oh, like uh, Nicole said, you know, kind of the shelter life has been ongoing prior to her coming in. So more for Joy, it's kind of like getting used to a new boss that that comes in. However, you know, they were so used to having Todd, the previous boss that kind of ran um, the shelter, and she had a lot of problems with it. And yet she was used to the whole, um, you know, the old fashioned way of the way the shelter was running. So when, um, you know, Shannon steps in as a new executive director, she's here for new beginnings and new change, step towards the right di uh, direction where the shelter should go. And Joy really likes the idea of having, you know, a stronger boss with, you know, a, an agenda and, you know, moving towards the right direction. Um, so she, at the beginning, you know, she's a little bit cautious and a little bit worried because she doesn't like personal changes for Joy. However, you know, she quickly adapts to the new ways that um, she brings forth. And even though she doesn't quite like it, she does like it. And, you know, she does give eye rolls, but she enjoys it in that sense. Yeah, but, and you uh, know if things are going to smooth out a little bit. And then other, mm -hmm. other, pro other nicer problems will come up. I yeah, hope. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now, Nikki, you get to play someone called Nikki. And yeah. she has such tremendous chutzpah. That she verges on dangerous. I mean, she just walks out of the office yeah, and yeah. just walks in and just does her thing. And I won't give away some of the things that she does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good. 
I like this. <laughs> She's ballsy. Yeah. She is. Just, yeah. So do you relate to that? Uh, <laughs> um, I mean, I would love to say that I am nothing like Nikki, but I know that that's not true. <laughs> Like, we are all just a little bit, if not very much so, just like our characters. I, of course, um, have way more empathy than Nikki. <laughs> um, so, no, I don't live my life the way she does, but uh, she fits into my style of comedy very uh, perfectly, that she just, like, she manipulates, she, she does anything to get what she wants, and she doesn't think that anything is wrong with it. You know, and I think that's the perfect setup for comedy uh, and conflict. <laughs> and and we all know that person that we work with at a Joe job that we've had, you know, where they just, they somehow get away with doing absolutely nothing. And we hate them. We yes. hate them. We're like, why aren't you fired? But they just don't get fired ever. I don't know. She just has that way about her. I mean, it helps that, you know. Well, she's she very charming. She, thank like, you. <laughs> yeah, she can, she can, yeah, you know, she charm has, the whatever it is off. Very it is. Yeah, so she does have that redeemable quality to her, I hope. Um, but she does. She's wild. Well, she's wild. You know, you just described like Donald Trump. And I, <laughs> yeah, I say that. And, and, and it's, it's nice to see it. I mean, it's not nice. To, I mean, it's interesting to see it in a woman. <laughs> Right. Okay. It's an empowered yes. woman, let's mm, say. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. She she <laughs> has nothing but confidence. She walks around this yeah. world with a a straight man's confidence. I will give her that. You yeah. know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So absolutely. good for her. Yeah, good for her. That's right. Now, Nicole, I understand that you have a rescue pet yourself. Yeah. When did that oh. happen? Um we adopted Kobe uh, from a rescue in Costa Rica in October 2019. Is that a dog? Yeah, he's a dog. He's um he's out being walked right now. But um he yeah, so we got him like kind of right before the pandemic, which was perfect. But oh. rescue and fostering has like when I was a young actor, kind of serving and working in restaurants, and right. I didn't really have like you know, I couldn't really commit to a dog I would foster with uh, Save Our Scruff in Toronto. So yeah. I would kind of welcome dogs into my home and then be heartbroken when they would get adopted. But it was something I really, really loved doing. So um, yeah, so for me and Shannon, this show feels like a, a good fit. And That's we got great. to like, yeah, we got to work with a bunch of animals, which was crazy. And it's funny that uh, she gives away the wrong cat <laughs> or at least the wrong cat is given away, not by you, and you suffer for it. Yeah. <laughs> right. And Tina, do you have a pet, a, a rescue pet as well? Uh, she's or not a rescue, it? but she, um, oh, I got okay. her as a puppy. Uh, but yes, I do, I do have a dog, uh, a little corgi. Her name she's is Maple. So cute. She's very so sassy. Yeah. <laughs> she's got a strong personality. <laughs> That's her charm. She be in season two, Tina. Like we need her. Yeah. I'm I'm trying. I'm trying to yeah. figure out a way to get her in there. Well, well I don't, don't know why you've deprived us of having your pets around. <laughs> well, we had, I don't know if Tina did, but the art department was like, we can have pictures of personal dogs like in the background, kind of like built into the set. Oh um, yeah. But we actually worked with two animal um, trainers who have their own uh, shelter and rescue program. So they actually oh. brought a lot of their dogs that obviously that were comfortable, a lot of their animals, sorry, that were comfortable uh, and that they felt confident would feel safe on the set. So it was actually, there was a bunch of, of rescues that we worked yeah. with. They mm -hmm. were method actors. They yeah. were method acting. It was incredible. <laughs> or treat actors too, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and I think, I think one of the crew uh, actually ended up adopting a, a cat, I believe. So yeah. it was nice. Oh, yeah. oh, that's so fantastic. I get my, my cats generally from barns. Nikki, do you have a pet or do you even like animals? <laughs> um, I do not have a pet, but I do like animals. I'm just, I've never grown up with a pet, so I'm a little perhaps awkward around them. Um, uh, but I mean, I may be transformed after doing this show. You may be. You absolutely may be. With quite a few. Yeah. 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 And I wonder, 
I wonder as the season progresses, if you might get a, a an animal in the shelter who's like really big or, you know, outside the general run of dogs and cats. Right. Will you? Well, I only saw two episodes. Right. We definitely, uh, Laura MacArthur, who is one of our animal trainers, has a, um, has a rescue that does not just have dogs and cats. So you will see, you will see all sorts of animals. Frank, <laughs> Frank, uh, Frank, who plays Christian specifically, got paired us usually with the most interesting yeah. of animals. <laughs> Always. Everybody <laughs> else like has a dog and a cat and Frank walks in with a bird. Like a bird. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He would. No, yeah. that's that's very cool. That's very cool. There's some um, a shelter near here out in Sunderland. Uh and it's just monkeys, just capuchin monkeys. Oh my god. And, wow. and my plan is to volunteer there when I retire. Because can you imagine? It would be so how cool. fun that would be. Yeah. The yeah. IKEA monkey went there, but he they keep him anonymous. So yeah. That's so crazy. Just a lovely idea to work in a shelter. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. Best of luck. They're on. Ooh, Olympics love it. Reminds me of being a kid and skating, dreaming of the cheering crowds. You were a figure skater? Sort of. I wanted to be one of the girls that goes on the ice collecting old flowers after. Got my big break when my cousin Lori placed at nationals. Yeah, what happened? I rushed out onto the ice, but I forgot to take my skate guards off, cracked my head, lost a tooth, and tripped a silver medalist from Winnipeg. Oh, Ross. What doesn't kill you? Or a silver medalist from Winnipeg. <laughs> Makes you stronger. Strays, this fall on CBC and CBC Gem. Ooh, loves me the Olympics. Reminds me of being a kid. Used to dream of being on the podium, winning gold. What sport? Diving. What happened? Fear of heights and water. Not big on crowds, to be honest. I also suffer from motion sickness. Strays, new series this fall on CBC and CBC Gem. <laughs> Guess I'm doing everything today. Hamilton East Animal Shelter. Ugh. Now he's taking a break, apparently. Strays, new series, this fall on CBC and CBC Gem.